early on, I had a, a couple of friends and, and like cousins and stuff that would draw. And so I, I was probably like four years old and I was already like just amazed. Like when I would like look through his drawings or whatever, I would be really um, inspired and I would try to draw or like I would trace from coloring books. When I discovered comic books, I was just, it was around the time, I was like a super nerd as a kid. I still kind of am, but, um, you know, I got into like comics, Dungeons and Dragons, all that stuff like at the same time. And so I wasn't drawing f from real life anymore, like, like still lifes or whatever. It was all like superheroes, dragons. As a kid, I was probably more into games. Um, because comics were still kind of expensive for me. Like I had to travel to like go get the comic books and like, but the games, every kid on my street had like Atari and stuff and we just like used to trade the cartridges and stuff. Commodore 64, there was like all the bootleg discs or whatever. No one should pirate software, by the way, it's terrible. But back in those days, we didn't know better. And uh, there was just so many games available. I mean, it's literally all I did. You know, I was still into comics as a hobby, but it was more like, you know, when I was drawing, I had like personal time, like I would draw that stuff, but, um, you know, I was, I was a pretty hardcore gamer. I just didn't think about how they got made, I just knew I liked playing games and reading comics, but I didn't really think about the people that made them or what the process was, and, um, it, you know, and my parents were like really old school, so my dad's like, you should be an electrician, you know, stop drawing superheroes, what is that about? And I kind of agreed with him, you know, I was like, well, it's not really a job. But as the years went on, you know, um, in high school, I went to the High School of Art and Design. They had an internship program with uh, companies all around New York City. And two of those were Marvel and DC. And, uh, you know, because I was so into comics, my friends were all pushing for me to get an internship. And, you know, I had really bad grades in school, so I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to get into a good college. and. So I'd have to stay in school and get grades, but I ended up saying, screw that. Went out for the uh, Marvel internship and I landed it. Um, and while I was there, I just kept showing them my stuff and working with the editors and, you know, it sucked. I was, I was terrible, but, um, you know, I made a lot of friends there and they just like, were like, oh, how cute he's trying to draw comics. And they, they eventually gave me a shot and a lot of the artists that work there at the bullpen were really helpful like Mark Texera and any visiting Marvel artist that would just come into the studio. I just got a lot of like really valuable experience. And then it did seem like a job. I was already working there, you know, for free. And, and it didn't take that long to like get hired on as a paying job. And at that point I was just like, okay, well, I guess this is what I'm going to do. This is cool. And then after that, you know, I just started landing better and better gigs. And I was a notoriously like, avid gamer and it even got out whenever books I was working on would be late they'd say like oh Joe's playing video games that's why uh, Final Fantasy you know 8 just came out so that's why the book's late or whatever and uh, you know at that time a lot of people had asked me why don't you just work in games because you love games so much and I just didn't really I had a successful comic career and I didn't really think like think of like how games were made or whatever, but just throughout, you know, my, my travels, I would meet people in the game industry that were just like, yeah, man, we'd love to work with you. You should totally do it. And, um, and I was like, wow, really? That's cool. Cause I was like fans of their stuff. So I was shocked that they even knew who I was or wanted me to work there or whatever. And, uh, I heard it enough times where I was just like, all right, screw it. I'm going to try this game thing out. And I went to E3 and I was just like, wow, this industry is like, awesome you know that was like the the year that um n64 came out and uh that was like my first e3 so they were showing like ocarina of time and mario 64 and all i was like oh my god this is crazy um and yeah at that point i was just like yeah this is what i want to do i ended up um being part of a startup that um didn't make it it was called trilunar and we had a game called dragon kind that we were working on but I met a lot of the right people and then, you know, I took smaller jobs uh, at game companies doing concept work and as an art director, that's where I met Dave and a lot of the guys that actually ended up founding Vigil. It's just weird, it's a small world and they all went their separate ways and we all came back together at NCSoft. 
at some point we were just like, hey, let's start our own thing. And we, we knew we wanted to do like a, a console action adventure with RPG elements. And we were like thinking about what, what the, uh, the right IP would be. And at that time, games were just a little darker and a little grittier. And, you know, I don't know, for, for whatever reason, out of all the ideas we had brainstormed, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse just like got everyone all excited and we, we started fleshing that out on our own and then luckily THQ picked us up because we were pretty much out of money and time and we were just like, oh God, you know, we're never going to get this game done. And uh, THQ just came in at just the right time and they loved it and um, they wanted to make the game that, that we were already working on, which is awesome, you know. Um, it's cool not to have to start with like licensed games or whatever to like cut your teeth. We really got to do like our dream game like right out of the gate, which is pretty unusual. I got a lot of the backlash and like, why don't you come back to comics? But it's it's one of those things as like a creative person, like you have to work on stuff that you like or else it's gonna suck, you know? Like I, I want to do my best stuff when it's stuff I enjoy. And you can tell if I enjoyed it or not. If I'm doing one, you know, working on the game stuff, I do miss drawing pages and like doing really detailed tight drawings and then but then once I do that for a while I'm just like Ugh. I'm, I kind of miss the energy of working with other people you know because when you're doing comics you're usually just by yourself with like some music on and that's it you start to like I don't know it, like if you're alone too long for days or weeks or months at a time it's just like you know you like claustrophobia or something so I, I love the the energy of being in a studio with other people.